Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi, and today we're gonna to take a look at the new Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Long Wear Liquid Eyeshadow, very long name there. And we're going to go ahead and do arm swatches, eye swatches, we'll look at the eye look I have on today, and we're going to compare the finishes of these to some other brands as well. So let's go ahead and start off with some arm swatches. All right, so before we move on to the actual swatches, let's take a look at the box here, just a traditional box. So nothing special, but I believe these are all permanent shades in this line, and this is not a limited edition product. At least it is not uh, marked that way as of yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual eyeshadow. This is gonna be a plastic tube. You've got your Fetish Eyes logo here. You have your name on the bottom. And this one here is Divine Champagne. So take a look at the wand here. It is, you know, you can see that it, it does bulb out a little bit. So you have a little bit wider end here. And then it's kind of like an eight, a figure eight shape. And let's go ahead and take a look at these swatches. So that is one swipe. And I'm just gonna smooth that out. These are actually a very smooth, silky texture on the eyes. We'll talk about those a little bit more while we go through the eye swatches, but that one there is Divine Champagne, and you can see it is a true champagne. It's neutral, leaning slightly warm, and then we have Luna Rosa. I have to say, the swatches online of this, some swatches I've seen look very warm, some look cooler. It's actually a pretty warm shade. So here is Luna Rosa, and I would say this is a warm, almost a dusty rose but more of a, a peachy rose so and you can see how much shimmer you have in each of these next up we have bronze bijou and this is kind of more of a, a golden brown or golden bronze sorry so you do, do have some of those bronze tones in there but you have kind of a golden yellow base to it so this will be a bit warm almost like an antique gold Next up, we have Platinum Bronze. I really, this is one of my favorites. And look at that. Let's go ahead and smooth that out. So pretty. So you can see this is more of your rich chocolate brown. This one is going to be a cooler tone. And then Twilight Platinum, my favorite. This is more of your like silvery taupe. And you can see that here and look at the edges of it where you kind of like spread that away. You get more taupe when you actually like kind of buff out the finish. Whereas if you have it piled up, you've got more of that silvery platinum look. Next, this is Cosmic Chartreuse. This is another one that I feel like um, looks a little bit different in person. It definitely is more of a true olive green chartreuse shade. In some, in some photos, it has almost had a little bit more yellow. And you can see when you kind of buff that one out a little bit, you do see more yellow there. So I think if you're gonna buff it out, you'll see more of those yellow hues. But if you leave it, you know, layer it up a little bit more, you've got more green. And then we have Smoldering Seduction. This is our last one. This is more of a rich, kind of a reddish brown color, like a sienna. So these are the seven shades in the new Fetish Eyes. Let's go ahead and talk about some product details while we look at the eye demos. Now I'm sharing these eye demos to show you what the colors look like on the lid. They are fairly messy, especially when I'm using my finger. So on the right eye, I use my finger for application to smooth everything out. And on my left eye, I am using the Esam W23, which is a stable hair brush. Any sort of like flat shader style brush will work really well. Again, you wanna make sure you're using undyed goat hair, something like weasel or synthetic. And let's go ahead and talk about the actual product here. So this is a liquid shimmer shadow, and you can see that there is definitely kind of an intense shimmer with all of these shades. It's really beautiful. And we have a creamy texture here. You can definitely feel a little bit of slip or silicone in the formula, which makes it apply very smoothly. And it goes on very evenly, either with my fingers or with a brush. So I think that is definitely really good. It does not seem to be patchy. 
uh, like some liquid shadows can be and you can definitely layer this up more so if you want to however it's pretty pigmented with just one layer of application these are ultra blendable crease proof smudge resistant and they have a 10 hour plus wear time now in this product we actually have 6.1 milliliters of product which is quite a lot for one of these liquid shadows there aren't too many that have that much product in them we do have a six month shelf life just like all of the other liquid shadows and that's because of eye safety that's pretty much the only reason. Now, just like with other liquid shadows or liquid products in general, it's very easy to spread bacteria through a liquid compared to a powder or some sort of solid product. And that's why we do have a shorter lifespan on these or shelf life. It's really just to promote eye safety there. So as I mentioned, we have 6.1 milliliters of product and these are made in Italy. Now, in regards to the claims here, creamy texture, ultra blendable, those are definitely true. Crease proof, I am testing those, but I had some requests to get this up right away because shades are selling out quickly. So I will pin a comment or pin a short to this video so you can see the uh, wear test of this. So I am per in the process of performing one now. I've had these on for a couple of hours at this point and they are holding up beautifully. They look very fresh, no signs of creasing or anything yet. So very impressed with that. As for smudge resistant, I would have to say that the colors do not smudge. They Once they dry and they set, which you know, you've got I think kind of the perfect amount of playtime with these, you know, the, some liquid shadows you have to work incredibly fast or they set before you finish getting like an even layer. I feel like you've got a few extra seconds on these than some brands. So it makes it just a little bit easier. If you're not familiar with liquid shadows or you're new to them, I think that helps. I also think the shimmer really helps to make every any imperfections you know, they're just not as noticeable if you've got shimmer there. So the color is definitely smudge resistant. However, the actual shimmer, you can still, you know, after that color has set, some of those shimmer particles are going to, you know, once that dries, they're not really stuck in that base anymore. So you can actually smear the shimmer. And that seems to be true for every sort of shimmer um, you know, shadow product that I've tried. So, you know, that's just kind of how it is. Now, 10 plus hour wear, again, we'll look at the wear test for that. Now, as for the cost of these, these retail for 29 US dollars. And for 6.1 milliliters of product, I think that's actually a really good value. So I purchased these as a set and there are different sets available on Pat McGrath's website. So if you wanna check those out, there are some sets where you can get, you know, just, you can have these bundled with other items or you can get the full set of eyeshadows. Uh, so you can get a, a bit of a discount on the price that way as well. So overall, I would have to say, I really like these liquid shadows. If you're looking for a shimmery shadow, these are really a nice addition. If you are new to liquid eyeshadows, I think these are a nice addition if you like shimmer. Now keep in mind, these are not a subtle shimmer. So if you like the Pat McGrath sparkle and shine that you get with some of her special shades, you know, you're going to get something more like that in a liquid form and it really holds up well. This will pair very nicely with powder shadows and everything as well. So I have to say, I really like these. I think the formula of these is really nice. I am curious how they would perform in a, a you know, a non-shimmer version, uh, but I'm really, really happy with these. And I would definitely say that they are worth trying if you love shimmer. So let's go ahead and take a look at some comparisons here. And first up, these are the original Pat McGrath here. I just wanna show you how, you know, this has like pretty much set here. It's maybe still slightly damp, but you can see that that shimmer is gonna move, but the actual color really doesn't here. This one is not 100% dry, but here, let me show you here. So you can see you know how that is once that's dry you really won't have any color transfer but you will have a little bit of sparkle so just to give you kind of an idea now let's go ahead and take a look at some comparisons with some other brands so we're going to start off with the jones road sparkle wash and this is the shade barely pink we have three milliliters of product here and this retails for 24 us dollars so you can see already that the value you have a higher value in the pat mcgrath so I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch this one kind of right here. 
right near Divine Champagne. You can see this is gonna be more of a softer pink, but in comparison with the Luna Rosa shade, you can see it's gonna be cooler and lighter in general. So it's actually more of a pinky champagne in comparison. Now the Jones Road Sparkle Wash is considered liquid glitter. It definitely has a high shine sparkle with it. I have to say though, I do think that you get a better shimmer finish with the Pat McGrath than you do with the Sparkle Wash. The Sparkle Wash is nice. I, I find it to be okay. I don't reach for it that often. You can really sheer this out and get more of a sparkle wash on your lids. Um, but I find that the, the formula on this is just, in my opinion, it's average. And I find the Pat McGrath formula is just nicer. It has like a silkier texture on your lids. So I just like the texture of it going on better. And I do find that it's a little bit easier to get an even layer of color with the Pat McGrath than the uh, Jones Road. Again, this will be a wash. So this will be more sheer when you spread this out compared to the Pat McGrath as well. Next, I wanted to take a look at the Lisa Eldridge, and this is her new shade Cressida. And this is kind of your light champagne kind of shade. You can see it's cooler in tone than Pat McGrath's Divine Champagne. It does have some shimmer, but this is gonna be much more subtle in shimmer. So if you're looking for more of a light reflection, that's what you get from the Lisa Eldridge. But if you're looking for shimmer and glitter and sparkle, you need to go with Pat McGrath. But just shade wise, you can see that Divine Champagne is going to be warmer, has more of a soft gold base compared to Cressida, which is more of like a moonlit ivory. Texturally, I would say that the Lisa Eldridge has a very similar silky feeling on the lids compared to the Pat McGrath, but you don't have quite as much playtime with that. That one actually dries just a little bit faster. So I do find the Pat McGrath is slightly even easier to use than the Lisa Eldridge. Now for comparison's sake, you get 2.8 milliliters of product for the Lisa Eldridge for $28. And again, we're looking at 6.1 milliliters for Pat McGrath at $29. So, you know, that's basically, you know, double. Now I just wanted to compare one more. This is Aeneas from Lisa Eldridge. So just wanted to swatch this one. We're gonna put this one right down here, kind of near the Cosmic Chartreuse. This one is really, it's more of a, more of a gray with a little bit of green in it. It's definitely not a chartreuse. It also has a little bit of silver. I think this is like a gorgeous color and this is probably my favorite out of the ones I've picked up so far from Lisa Eldridge. Really beautiful shade. Next, let's take a look at Chanel, and this is number 28, Desert Wind. Now, Chanel's products have been hit or miss over the years. We're gonna put this right here next to this one, which was the Platinum Bronze, and you can see that shade-wise, they're gonna be similar. The Chanel's gonna be cooler. It has more gray in it. It's also more sheer. You can see that automatically right there with the swatch. Now, these have been hit or miss from Chanel. Some shades have performed really well. Others have been more patchy and uneven or like really thin. So I just, I can't really recommend these anymore because they've had so many misses in the more recent launches. Texturally, these are really nice going on if you have a good one. Um, but you can see that these are definitely gonna be much more subtle in shimmer. This has more of a satin finish versus a shimmer finish. These Chanel eyeshadows, I actually have to say, are a pretty decent value though. You have six milliliters of product in here and they retail for 36 US dollars. So they're going to be, you know, they're slightly more than the Pat McGrath, but they are pretty similar. Now let's take a look at the Sisley liquid shadows. I was really excited for these when these came out last year, but I don't like them. <laughs> so I don't recommend the Sisley. Some of them are nice, um, but some of them aren't, and you don't really know until you get it. So this one here is the shade Wild. You can see it's a deeper forest green. These are not. These are going to have more of a subtle shimmer compared to the Pat McGrath. So these are more shimmer versus like glittery. And this is shade number six. I also wanted to take a look here. We've got shade number five, Bronze. Let's go ahead and put that one right here. You can see that these are actually more similar to the Chanel with how sheer you can get with these. So you can get a really light sheer wash. The problem is these can be pretty patchy. So these are a little bit harder to apply in certain shades than others. 
Now with the Sisley, you get six and a half milliliters of product. So this is the largest size liquid shadow that I have. However, they're 60 US dollars. So, you know, even though you have just slightly more product for twice the price compared to the Pat McGrath. Next, I want to take a look at the Viola FR Yo Paint. I love these. These are gonna be the closest in shimmer. We're going to put this one right down here. This is my favorite, it's Scarabay Door. And you can see it's a really beautiful, more of a, it's, it's a cooler tone green than what you get in the Pat McGrath. And you have that gold reflex. You can see the amount of shimmer in here is going to be pretty comparable. This is slightly more sheer than the Pat McGrath. You can see how that kind of fades out here at the end. You can sheer this out a bit more. Now, Viola FR, they make mattes and they make shimmers. They don't have the largest color range yet, but they're constantly adding new items, new shades to it. So this can be used more as a topper. It's meant to be used either as a topper or on its own. So it's not gonna be quite as pigmented with one swipe compared to the Pat McGrath. The amount of shimmer is going to be pretty similar. And I have to say both formulas are really comfortable to use on the eyes. These are your paint and they really do feel more like a paint for your eyes with the, the way that they dry and the texture. Whereas the Pat McGrath, they feel like they have a little bit more like slip or glide to them. Now the Viola FR, you have 2.79 milliliters of product and they retail for 31 US dollars. And last up with the comparisons, we're gonna take a look at these two new Armani eye tins. If you haven't heard, Armani just reformulated their eye tins to say this new version. I really like this new version. We have three different finishes here. And so we're gonna take a look at this one here, which is more of their like satin finish. So this is shade number nine. I'm gonna put these down here at the bottom. And you can see that this is gonna give you more of that subtle shimmer again on the eyes. You don't really see the glitter particles or anything on that. So it's more subtle. You'll have light reflection, really beautiful finish. Texturally, these do feel very similar to the Pat McGrath going on. The actual texture of the formula feels comparable. Now I have to say my favorite formula in the eye tent, these are called, I'm trying to remember, they're, I think they're called shimmers. <laughs> but this one here is number 10. And these actually can shear out really beautifully. So these you can shear out and get kind of like this soft base and you get, again, more of a subtle shimmer here, almost more like subtle satin. And so overall, the Armani is just not gonna be as sparkly as anything with the Pat McGrath. I have to say both of those formulas are really nice though. So overall, these new liquid eyeshadows, I have to say, I really like these. If you're interested in looking at liquid eyeshadows, I would have to say that my top few right now, after trying all of these and the new reformulations and so forth, are going to be the Viola FR, these Pat McGrath, and the new Armani eye tints. Following that, then we go to the Lisa Eldridge would be my next pick. So those are kind of you know my personal preferences of what I would recommend for liquid shadows. I think the Jones Road ones are okay, so they'd probably go next on my list. The Chanel are good if you get a good one, so they'd go next. The Sisley though, I honestly, I really just don't love them. So they would be bottom of my list. Uh, you know, they, they would be tied probably with Chanel if they were at a more comparable price to Chanel's, but you know, that price point for the issues with it to me really drop it down to the bottom and definitely I do not recommend in my book. So I would love to know which one your favorite color is from this new line. What you think about these, you know, are you interested in these? Do you wear liquid eyeshadows and so forth? So please let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope this was helpful. So have a wonderful day.